All right. Hello, everyone. We're back. And today we want to help you get better from chronic pain. And we're specifically going to talk about rage. And I'm sure you've been in an environment, let's say you're on a bus, you're in a room and somebody comes in and they're speaking on their phone and, and they're very angry and you just want to get out of that place. You just want to leave, right? Or you want to tell that person to calm down. Why can't they just relax? Take it easy. So let's talk about rage. And I know, I know Esther's had a, a, a day where she's experienced <laughs> rage today. So she's looking forward to, to sharing uh, everything she can. So over to you, Esther. Tell us more about rage. Right. Anger and rage. Uh, they are human emotions, like every other emotions of happiness and joy and peace, etc., but the negative emotions are there as well, and they are there every day, um, uh, especially with things going on right now in the world. It doesn't matter if you are in favor of vaccination or you are against it, if you want to pass any there or you don't want it. It is stressful for everybody, and everybody reacts with anger and rage to the situation. And um, for people that are suffering pain, and especially in these stressful situations, if your pain is increasing or you have pain coming up now in this time, be aware of these negative emotions of anger and rage. And we don't want to be identified with those emotions because we see them as bad, as violent, as you know, that you are a negative uh, person and lowering, you know, lowering uh, things. But you know, we don't have to attach meaning to it, but they are just there. So today we want to show you, you, you can express anger and rage, but you can also just be aware of it. So, and everybody has a different way of dealing with these two specific emotions. So, Brajesh, can you show us how you are dealing with uh, anger and rage when you have something uh, negative like that going on? And then afterwards, I will, do, I will show how I react to it. <laughs> Sure. And I'm, I'm more of a very introverted personality while Esther is more expressive. So I rarely show it. Uh, for example, I may, <clears throat> I may be running late for a meeting. So I run out of the door and then I realize that I forgot my car keys. So I come back into the house and, and I get my car keys. Then I realize that I forgot to uh, you know, put something out that, from the refrigerator that need to be ready before I come back. So I do that. And now I'm getting later and later. And then I you know, find that I can't find my car keys and I'm running out and I'm like, ah, and mostly I'm just kind of holding it in. Uh, but then I'm rushing in traffic and driving and, ah, and all these, all these emotions are coming up. So I'm like, ah, uh, allowing myself to, to feel the rage, uh, specifically for all the events uh, that are going on around me and also becoming aware that, you know, just being late for a meeting, why does it generate? so many emotions, you know, what's, what's underneath all this and just become aware that, that I have a lot of emotions coming up. So that's, that's one of the examples for me uh, where, where I feel rage. Yeah. And many times it, it's, it's like a pan, you know, that is, uh, has water boiling, uh, cooking and uh, the steam wants to get out, but it's as if you're trying to, uh, to keep the steam in and you know it 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 just don't won't work at one point in time it will uh, floof like a volcano it will uh, will explode so yeah i'm 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 a little bit more expressive in my emotions uh, especially the positive emotions the negative emotions i also tend to to shove down a little bit but specifically for this video i will show how it looks for me on the inside when i feel anger and rage and i will not make so much noise with it. <laughs> you can imagine the noise yourself. <laughs> All right. So if something is happening that is really pissing me off, and I had some things today uh, that, that pissed me off. Um, and, you know, then I am like, I want to scream and I want to sing. Ah! And it's like, mm! and I was like, I said, every muscle in my body is just ah, tense. And I went, wow. <laughs> this is how I feel on the on the inside, but yeah, I don't want to show here. it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, did I scare you, Bridget? Yes. <laughs> okay, that was the idea. You resonate, resonate with what it feels. Many, many people feel this on the inside, 
you don't need to hit something. You don't need to break something. You don't have to throw with something. It was just, this video was just there to show you how that can feel on the inside. And everybody has it and many try to shove it down. And that is in uh, a lot of cases, uh, the, the cause of your pain because your brain is giving you a diversion so that you don't feel this so that it doesn't come to the surface. But that's actually what's going on on the inside. So this is uh, not a video to, um, to invite you to go into uh, a violence behavior. No, not at all. It is only there to show you that these type of emotions are human. They are there. They are inside. Be aware of them. If you need to express them like I did with, by screaming, go ahead. Go, go stand in, a, in an empty field somewhere in a car, uh, not driving. Uh, make sure you, you stand still uh, in a safe place. And, and then you get rid of these, this charge uh, that is uh, on your body. So small tip for today on the negative emotions, especially anger and rage. Uh, Brajesh, do you have anything to add to this? Yeah, yeah. And I'd like to just tie that up with, so when I started this video, I mentioned that when someone walks in expressing rage, I feel a sense of fear and, and I feel unsafe and I want to get out of that room. So you may have imagined someone in a bus or in a train and, you know, some, maybe some homeless person comes in and starts ranting and you just want to move to the next compartment or you just want to tell that person, go away because you're feeling unsafe. And so when we create, when we see that in others, we also repress it ourselves. We're like, I don't want to be perceived this way. I don't want people to see me this way. And, and uh, that's why we end up repressing it. So what we're suggesting is allow yourself to experience it. There's no need for you to publicly display it, but become aware that it's just an emotion. It's like any other emotion and we all have it. We all have things going on in our lives that generate rage and that it's completely normal to do that. Right. So I hope uh, this helps uh, you to reduce your stress uh, and uh, that it also reduces uh, your pain that you might uh, experience. And um, stay tuned for next videos on uh, everything that is linked to, uh, to chronic pain. Yeah, and let us know how you, what you thought of this video and practice this in your life and see what's coming up and share that with us. Exactly, and have a really pissed off day. <laughs> Great, <laughs> bye. Bye.